Hey guys, how's it going? It is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back today. I've got something crazy to show to you guys. I've been working on this for the past three days, I think. And this is a working computer in Minecraft. This uses no mods at all. So if you're thinking, go into the comments, he's got a mod installed. There is nothing installed. This is all purely command blocks and it is crazy. Um, I didn't even expect myself to be able to actually build this, but in the end, I got it. So I'm very excited to actually show you guys today this amazing creation. Now, I'm not going to make you guys wait any longer. Let's go ahead. Let's get straight into this now. And here it is. This is the computer. So here it is currently turned off at the moment. And that's why you see a blank screen here. This screen is currently turned off. But over here, we actually have the computer. So you can actually see on the side here, all the components we have in here. So we have a Netherrack GPU. It's a Redstone CPU. We've got a couple of SSDs. Um, but we actually have to turn this on before we can actually begin to use it. Now, I'm going to guarantee I'm going to blow your guys' minds today. So before we go ahead and we turn this computer on, make sure you remember to go ahead and snap that like button. We need it snapped right in half. If you want to keep up to date with all my latest videos and creations like this, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. I suggest you press that post notification button so you definitely don't miss out on any of my latest uploads. But let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and turn this computer on now. So we're going to right click this button and you'll see here on the screen now the computer is on. And have a look at this. This is like an actual desktop um, computer. So we got the taskbar down here. We got a couple of application. We actually got four applications on this computer. Um, and also over here we've got a cursor as well. So this is actually how you um, kind of interact with the computer. You put the cursor on the icon and click, then it will actually open up that application. Now you might be wondering why there were full four gold blocks here. Well, that's kind of the podium we actually have to use to interact with this computer. And we also need to grab out a feather as well. So we're simply going to walk onto the podium here. And how we actually move around the cursor is very simple. All we have to do is kind of look in the direction we want it to actually go. So if we want to go down, we look down. If we want to go up, we can move it up. And if we just keep it in the center there, it won't actually move anywhere at all. But let's go ahead, let's check out the applications which I actually added to this computer. So let's move our cursor and put it over that first icon there. So let's just uh, shimmy it over a little bit. Uh. All right, there we go. So as you can see, it is on top of it. Then we're simply just going to right click and have a look at this. We have an application here which gives you diamonds. So this is just a little graphic I put onto it. Then it says plus one. And then this below here is actually a button. So if we actually hover over that um, red box there. So we're on it now. If we actually go ahead and we right click, have a look at this. We can get free diamonds. How cool is that? So that's actually a working button. If we actually just move this one below, it's not going to do anything. We actually have to have the cursor on the button um, for it to actually work. So we can actually go ahead and close this as well. So go up to the top here, right click the close button, and there we go. It closes the application. It's kind of exactly what you would expect um, from a working computer. So let's go into the second one here, and I, f I forgot which one, what this actually is. Oh yes, this one. So what this will do is this will strike lightning on the mob you actually select here. So we have a zombie, this one here is a skeleton, the next one is a spider, oops, spider, and the last one is a creeper. So what we're going to do right now is double check we're in easy, yes we are. We're going to go ahead and we're going to spawn... Um, let's go ahead and spawn the creeper just because they don't burn uh, during the day here. We're going to put them inside of this glass chamber that I built earlier on in this video. And we're simply going to hover our mouse over that one, the button there. So the kind of the buttons, the graphics below the um, mobs there are the buttons. So if we go ahead and we right click this button below the creeper here. It's going to strike lightning at those creepers and of course I forgot that it actually makes them uh, the charged creepers, however they have died still which is 
the plan all along was to kill them. So that is just like a cool little thing you can actually do. So let's get this mouse back out. Hold up, are we standing? Okay, hold up. I was standing in the wrong spot. So you can do this to other mobs, as I said, you can do it to a zombie, skeleton, and also the spiders as well. So let's say it's the morning in the game and there's mobs still out, you can go ahead, call that command, and it will kill all the zombies and skeletons in your entire world. How crazy is that? So let's go into the next application. Actually, we're going to go to the fourth one um, before we go to this third one here, just because of what the third one actually does. This one here is cool. So this gives you a super horse. So I've got a little, a little horse image here. We've got a button below. If we press this button, what it's going to do is actually give us a super horse. So let's right click it. Have a look at this. We just got given a horse. Let's hop on this and I'll show you guys how crazy this horse actually is. Have a look at this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> We're like... I don't know, we're like the Flash. We're like the Flash. And have a look at this when we jump as well, like how crazy is this? We like launch and honestly, we, we are flying. We are actually flying like we're a bird. I'm like a bird. I don't know the lyrics. Oh God. This is crazy. Just look how fast I'm going. So this gives you a super horse. Um, it can't die either. So this is just one of the most amazing things ever. This is like OP horse. Oh my God. Yeah, it also walks around really quickly, um, so um, you got to be weird. You got to be quick, careful of that. I'd probably store that somewhere in like a fenced area. Let's see if we can get him in here. Ugh. All right, hold up. Uh, I can control this better. There we go. All right, let's keep him in there because he uh, he walks around really quickly. But let's go back over to here. So that's a uh, super horse application. What we're gonna do is exit that now. So let's hit the exit button here. Oop. And let's go to this last application here. And this one is a potion application. So this is going to give you effects that are not possible to actually get in Minecraft. Well, they one of them is, but this is kind of uh, a kind of more of an amplified version. And um, also, you don't need to have a beacon block to obtain it. So let's go ahead. Let's right click this first button here. So this will actually give you haste which if you don't know will allow you to mine blocks a lot faster in survival mode now i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to show you like see how quick i'm breaking these blocks that's what haste does for you so it allows you to mine really quickly and it's really useful if you're digging out um huge areas here so let's go to the next one and what this is going to do oh god and the reason why I did this application last is because, is because of the uh, kind of graphics or the uh, particles that come off when you have potions. This next one here will give you a ton more hearts. Have a look at that. Look at my GUI down there. I've got so many more hearts now. So let's go and uh, let's eat something here. So if we eat that, have a look at this. We got like a ton of more hearts and this will actually last for 10 minutes. So that will actually be kind of useful if you're going to off to mine or something like that. I don't really know. Uh, and let's go to the last one here. So back to game mode C, I need to grab another feather. So let's move up here and let's go into the last button. Can I get it? There we go. And this will actually give you water breathing. Now, I'm pretty sure I didn't set this to unlimited, but pretty much we are a fish now. We are a fish. We can breathe underwater for however long uh, we want. We don't have to worry about oxygen anymore, which I think I think is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool effect, and um, you can obtain it by uh, using this computer here. How cool is that? So we can go ahead and, again, close off this application. Let's close it off. Ugh. And then let's go ahead, let's turn off the computer now so we can press this button here to turn it back off. And how cool is that, guys? But that, my friends, is going to end off this video today. Let me know over on my Twitter. There is links in the description below. Let me know on Twitter what you actually thought of this computer. How cool is it? Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be releasing a download, but if we actually get 8,000 likes on this video, I will release a download link for you guys so you can go ahead 
test this out for yourself now. We are almost up to 5, 000, uh, 8 thousand likes on the working TV as well, so hopefully we can get there soon. Um, and I can release the working TV for you guys to actually play around with. But that is it. I will see you guys later. Bye.